Hello, my name is Tom Stiles and this is Tom's Rodeo Room Show. And what you're looking at, it's what's left of the tree that was in my neighbor's yard and it overhang into my yard. And that's what I was going to put my broomstick antenna in temporarily but he went and had the tree cut down on me so no tree so now you see that big tree back there you go up that tree you'll see right there and let me see if i can zoom in there is the broomstick antenna hanging from a branch and the way i have it and then it's got the coax coming over to the window here and going inside to my workshop. And the coax turns out it's a little short because I originally was going to go to that tree and there would have been plenty of coax le left. But it does just barely make it and unfortunately the antenna doesn't hang vertical but it's pretty close so in uh, what I did is I threw and you probably can't see it but I threw a some tie cord over that branch and then I tied it down here don't know if that shows up and then use that to hoist the antenna up into the tree so that's where we're at we got it up we got the coax on and we're ready for some testing which we will do um, later today or tonight I can now do it at night uh, because I have the coax going into my work shed so this is uh, showing the setup Again, this is a broomstick antenna. It's basically like a broomstick with uh, copper wire round around, round uh, around it. <laughs> and uh, then it's uh, put inside this PVC and a connector was added. I purchased this off of eBay uh, it's they're quite often on eBay from a seller I believe it's in Florida and they they start at the starting bid is $19.95 and then they go up from there and I happened to get this one I was the only bidder so I got it for $19.95 plus I think six dollars shipping so about $25 so we're gonna check it out and see if it does anything at all so we'll catch you on the other side of that coax wire.